there, my name's Lija. Usually on here, I'm a real life lawyer on a mission to demystify the law and how it affects your everyday life. But today we're doing something a little bit different. Cause I'm also a YouTuber and a content creator and y'all comment a lot on my makeup on here, okay? So I thought I'd give you a little tutorial, a little special YouTube makeup beat. Cause it's a little bit different than my everyday makeup, which is a little bit more kind of sheer and dewy. This stuff, when you're in front of a camera, you kind of want to control where you do the do and where you don't do the do. You know what I mean? So hopefully this is helpful for you. If you are a content creator, you're interested in starting doing YouTube videos or any sort of other content creation. I'm also doing this in honor of the launch of my consulting services for content creators. That's right, about a month ago, I launched my consulting services. So if you are a content creator or want to become one and you want to talk to someone about the ins and outs of content creation, especially here on YouTube, but elsewhere, or if you got legal issues related to your copyrights, I'm also available to help you out. You can just go to my website. It's super easy. You can see my calendar and schedule a session with me today. I love being a content creator and I love working with other content creators. So it's like the perfect gig. So let's just have a chat, all right? But if nothing else, I hope to be at least a little bit helpful for you today in just showing you what I do at least as a non-beauty guru person to make this face look presentable on camera, okay? So let's get into it. Let's do some makeup. Um, Step one, when you're generally doing makeup, don't wear a giant uh, turtleneck, so. <laughs> It's fine. This is realistic shit, you guys. I'm not here trying to sugarcoat that I'm like sitting here for an hour, like gently using a brush to like, but no. I'm just trying to get cute so that I look good on camera so that I can make videos that have nothing to do with makeup, you know? Like this is the makeup for the non-makeup artist YouTuber. And I do use my hands, okay? And, and because of that, let me take off my rings. Let me show you these rings. <laughs> oh. Oh, you mean these, these old things? <laughs> They're from Ana Luisa. And I wanna thank Ana Luisa for partnering with me for today's video. That's right, I love Ana Luisa jewelry. Not only, not only is it beautiful, I mean, look at, ooh, ooh, stunning pieces. I'm a sucker for gold jewelry and they have a ton of it. Not only that, but their pieces are sustainably made. That's right, they have sustainability in mind when sourcing their materials and getting them made. And I love that, I love that for us. So for that reason, I'm also a big fan of Ana Luisa. They have a large selection to choose from and they're changing all the time. They're always bringing in new exciting pieces. Right now, however, I have a very exciting thing to tell you. They're having their biggest sale of the year. Bow, bow. Yes, Ana Luisa, biggest sale of the year. Buy one, get one 60% off. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. You could buy one of these, 60% off the other, you know? But uh, I don't know what more I have to tell you. Go check them out. Run, do not walk to the link in my description down below, my friends. These make great gifts. Are you kidding me? Who doesn't want, look at this little cuff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The second I put this on, I literally, I literally to myself in the mirror out loud, I was like, that's glamorous as hell. I love it. It's not, I don't have a piercing there. It's just a little cuff. You just pop it in there. I mean, I can wear them when I work out. I literally just got done with the workout. So if you, you think that I'm glowing a little bit extra today, not only is it my skincare routine, it's also because I just got a workout in and I was wearing these while I did it and I sweat and it's fine. You can sleep in them. They're super comfy. They've got a great clasp in the back that's not gonna come undone. I can't say enough good things. All right. We love Ana Luisa here. Thank you for part partnering with me today, don't forget to check out the link in my description down below to take advantage of their buy one, get one 60% off biggest sale of the year. All right, let's get into this. So skincare, we've got, you know, your nightly skincare routine, which is going to be the foundation of your daily skincare routine. Why do I say that? Because if you're not moisturizing, using your creams, your serums, whatever at night, you're going to wake up dry, my friends. Okay. You're going to wake up without the, the skin you need to start your day. So if you don't have that good foundation of your evening skincare routine, there's not much you can do in the morning that's really gonna help it because you need the nighttime to like regenerate and let it all soak in, okay? So in the morning, I don't do much to my skin. I'm a one wash a day kind of gal. I wash my face once a day, that's it. I've got pretty normal but tends towards dryness skin, especially right now, it's November. We're heading into the dead of winter here in Minnesota. Yeah, this is, we're not messing around here with the dryness, okay? You have to take your moisturizing seriously and overwashing is just gonna dry everything out, okay? So you didn't see me do this before, but I did put on this, my favorite, oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> Beauty influencer, who is she? Okay, um, Mirad Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It has vitamin C, okay? It's got, it's a moisturizer and it has SPF 30. So it's like everything that I want in the morning in one thing. And what's great about getting products that are 
multi-purpose like this is they were formulated by this company to work well together so you don't have to worry about like pilling or things not absorbing into your skin this does it all it's expensive it's not cheap this is not a drugstore find however you're getting three for the price of one so for me it made sense because for a long time i was just using like a crap ton of cheap serums just layering them and realizing that like things were pilling it wasn't working my skin wasn't in the best condition ever so instead of buying three cheaper items and piling them on. I bought one slightly more expensive, but well-formulated item. I'm telling you, this thing has like changed the texture of my skin. It keeps it, it keeps it moist and dewy and plump all day long. I love this stuff. In the dead of winter, when I'm feeling like really dry, um, sometimes I'll just take my night cream, add a little bit it on my skin first, and then plop this on top of it. Or if I'm getting, if I'm like desperate, I have this, this is, I mean, this is almost gone. It's just this like shea butter I got off amazon.com. Shea, just pure shea butter right to the skin. Not for the faint of heart, not for the type of people that are gonna get clogged pores really easily, but for me, especially on my cheeks where I get kind of dry in the winter, sometimes it's all that I can do. And I just kind of do a really thin layer. Sometimes I'll do that at night, but if I'm really needing it in the day, I'll do it as well. Okay, so we have our base, we have our moisture, and then I plopped this on. Um, so I use Bite for my, not for my everyday makeup, but for my YouTube makeup, I use Bite. Okay, so we've got the Changemaker Skin Optimizing Primer, and then we've got the Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation in the color L20. This is not a full coverage makeup, my friend. Okay, let me take off my Ana Luisa rings because listen, we get down and dirty. I do not have a lot of time right now, so I don't fuck around with this. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm someone who likes to get shit done. Yeah, this is what I do. I know, I'm a monster, I'm sorry, don't judge me. Uh, I try to concentrate it in the center of my face because that's where I need the most coverage because that's what the cameras are mostly seeing. And then I just kind of slowly blend it out. Listen, I did a bunch of research on this foundation before I got it. There was at least one beauty influencer who tried it and she was like, I actually really liked the application with my fingers better than I did with the brush. And so I, when I heard that, I took it and I ran with it because your girl can't be bothered to be brushing this stuff in, okay? On camera, it reads as like a really lovely, just dewy base. Then we throw on a little bit of concealer. I use the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. Nothing groundbreaking. I use two different colors. Why? Because what? why did I buy this? It's so light, but this one can get a little dark. And so I combine them so that I get a little bit of brightness with my coverage under my eyes, okay? Do a little of that motion, a little of that motion, boop. That's with the darker one and with the lighter one, I just do like one little dot, okay? So that we get a little bit more brightness. And then with this darker one that matches my skin tone a little bit better, this is Light 2.3 Madeline. Um, this one matches my skin pretty well. I'll throw it on, like I have a little blemish right here. Pop, just throw it on. And then sometimes my no, it's a little red. And then over here on my cheeks, I just get some like ruddiness sometimes. This I do use a brush for because it's just easier. I, this, I, it's a Sephora, I don't know. I like it and then I just blend it in and down a little bit because I find that I have kind of a weird like defined line in between my cheek skin and my under eye skin. I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but blending it down kind of helps with that. Same thing here. And then we kind of bop this in, bop, bop, bop. Don't forget the cheeks, bop, bop, bop. Just kind of buff, buff it in. We're not going for perfection here, people. What's fun about having really great lighting when you're filming, it's a little bit more forgiving. There she, there she blows, okay? So that's the base. And then I throw on my cheeks. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do bronzer then cheeks first. I've seen a lot of people do that, but I'd use cream blush. I don't know, I pop it on first. So this is like a really random thing. It's called Beauty. Tanio Beauty Butter Lip and Cheek Balm in Coco Rose. I love this color. I don't know where I got this. It's not like a popular brand. I don't, I've never heard of it before, but I think I got it in like one of those like uh, monthly subscription boxes you can get a long time ago, but I don't know. I just love it. And it's, it's lasted a really long time because I don't use a ton of it, but it's just enough to add this really nice kind of reddish beachy sun kissed and I put it up high on my cheekbones. I do not put it, I kind of, I blend it a little bit into the apples of my cheeks because it, it looks weird if it stops abruptly, but I concentrate it up here because it makes my cheekbones look lifted and snatched. Bada bing, bada boom, sick. 
she's done okay then we bronze i use the hula benefit this is a mini why because i'm cheap okay i, I don't know what color this is there's the regular hula benefit anyway and then i use this angle brush which is i think also from it's elf we don't need fancy shit around here to look good okay and then i concentrate it again high on the cheekbones we're not using this to contour we really aren't i'm not interested in contouring i haven't mastered it it's not the vibe i'm going for i'm really just going for like she's seen the sun recently that kind of looks like she's been outside before that's that's the vibe we're going for you know just a gentle kissed by the sun vibe so then i take take the same bronzer i take the same brush i squeeze it because i'm a monster and i dip it in there and then i just kind of throw it on my eyes like right under the eye bone the brow bone i don't know it gives a little contour to my to my eyes it makes them look a little deeper a little bigger you know it's nothing fancy that's it all right highlighter i use benefit what's up i love this shit you guys comment on this all the time and again i'm a monster i just drag it across the way the good lord intended but but eyebrows and then i do a little right here on the sides of the forehead somehow it just kind of like brightens things up and then i use my finger and we blend a little bit because obviously we don't want it to look like we just took a glue stick to our face but we did listen you're seeing how the sausage is made here that's about it for the base okay and then for the brows oh this is exciting i just got that i'm a big benefit bitch okay i love benefit so we got the um benefit 24 hour brow setter and we've got the precisely my brow pencil i love this and we just got refills so we get to do an unboxing right here live on camera this is the the 24 hour brow setter Ooh, okay and we just take this goop oh my god my hands are covered in that foundation oops Take this goop, it comes with this cute little brush, all right? And then we just brush up, because we want we want our brows to look a little bit floofy, okay? That's the trend these days. Now, I don't have my brows like perfectly, like some women, they do this, or people, they do this and they push it up and the, it just like f forms perfectly into this arc. I don't have that. So I push things up, all right? I give them a beat and then I kind of push things back down a little bit to like, okay, we want it fluffy, but like, that's a little out of control. So now it's like, it's lifted, but it's not, you know, like Groucho Marx, you know? Is that the correct reference, Groucho Marx? Okay, and then we do it to the other side. And I like to do this now so that my brows have time to set before I fill them in. All right, yes, we're doing this first and then we're filling. I learned this from the one and only Jamie Genevieve, who I love. She's got great tips and tricks if you wanna to listen to like an actual beauty guru, talk to her. All right, wait a beat, okay? And then push it up and then you just push it back down so that it's like a little bit less insane. Voila, you've got some lift. Now, you're gonna be horrified by this. We're gonna do a little eyeshadow. And listen, I'm a, I'm a monster with this too, you guys. Just get ready. Okay, um, I have this Smashbox. It's again, a little tester. There's three of them, Vanilla, Sable, and Sumatra. Okay, I just do, I do this, I do this move. Back and forth, back and forth, bop, bop, bop. And then I just, I fucking pat it in. I know, I know, it looks bad, okay? Just wait, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, bear with me, okay? We blend it in. This is like, listen, I'm not trying to go again for contouring of any sort. This is literally just, I want my eyelid to all be kind of one color and then kind of blend it out. I just really like the look of it. I feel like it looks kind of dramatic. Here's a fun tip that Jamie also taught me. So once you've done that, it's dark, okay? You wanna blend it out a little bit. You take that lighter color and you use that to blend, okay? So you were just blending with the lighter color and it tends to help it kind of blend better because you have product on the brush that you're working with instead of just trying to like push product around on your eyes. And that's like, that's about it, my friends. Like w w simple shit, okay? Let me do my other eye. Okay, eyes done. And then I realized I forgot something, but this is actually good because we get, you know, a little fallout from such dark eyeshadow. Um, so I use this Bite Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder in light, like that, see? Um, and then I take this brush, uh, it's just a regular, it, it's not a good brush. I'm not even gonna recommend it. And then I just kind of take a little bit, swipe it underneath and down the nose. 
swipe it underneath and down the nose. And we do the same here. So you wanna get rid of the shine where you don't want it and leave the shine where you do want it, um, right? And that kind of helps get rid of the fallout too. And then with this eyeshadow, I don't I don't really add eyeliner. I really, I really don't. And listen, is it expertly blended? Fuck no, but it looks really great on camera. Now we take our Precisely My Brow Pencil. We take it, we fill in the brows. I do this, I do this by the like 2014 way where I draw the line underneath. I know you're not supposed to do that, but otherwise I find that I really struggle. So I do that, but I do it like as light as possible. And then I just do like the, as light as possible little brush strokes to fill it in. So we already have the goop on there and it's set. So we've got the lift to the brow and now we're just kind of filling in the holes so it has a, a really defined, lovely shape. But you wanna just have a really light hand with this. Okay, bada bing. Um, what am I missing? Mascara. Okay, I use the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. Ooh, okay, this stuff can get a little clumpy, so you gotta have a light hand with it too. But um, I use Revitalash, I'll pop it up, I don't have it on hand with me, but I use a Revitalash serum to help my eyelashes grow just naturally a bit longer. And then this stuff looks really great because you've got the length, but then this adds kind of the body you know, the volume. And you know, I bought a bunch of false eyelashes thinking that I'd use them in my YouTube videos and then I never did because again, I'm not a beauty guru and I'm not here trying to like make beauty videos other than obviously this one, oops. But I realized that the thought of applying false eyelashes every time I wanted to film was holding me back. So I took that out of the equation and it meant that I could do my makeup much more quickly and that's what I'm here for. And I got a bunch on my eyelid, love that for me. So we're gonna just kind of wipe it off. And as we wipe, we try to wipe that off, uh, the rest of the eyeshadow comes off and that's great for us. We love that. Okay, so this is the lipstick you guys always ask. This is my dark lipstick. It's Urban Decay, all right? Ooh, the color, blackmail. <laughs> I love that. Blackmail and comfort matte. Do I use anything special? No, I don't. Do I even use a lip liner? No, I do not. And then we just go for it, my friend. Scared of dark lipstick? Sometimes you just gotta go for it. And I don't use lip liner because I don't really overline my lips and I'm lazy, <laughs> okay? I use the tip of it to kind of do the outline as much as possible, but like really, just throw it on, it looks great. You look great, my friends. That's that's the vibe, that's the look. I mean, we've got we've got dark, we've got dramatic, we've got beautiful bling. Thank you to Ana Luisa Jewelry, again, for partnering with me today. And it goes really well with this very dramatic look. You could wear this to a New Year's Eve party if you wanted. Don't forget to go to the link in the description down below. Buy one, get one 60% off. It's the biggest sale of the year. Go check them out.